Good night, everyone, and welcome to Agri Nuggets. This is your agronomist, Michael Babula, and I guess we're on one thing tonight red ring disease in coconuts. Now, many of us have coconut growing in our yard, many of us are growing it commercially. Coconut is of concern. Growing coconuts is of concern. Right now, we have the issue of the red ring disease happening. And one thing I would like to recommend in a nutshell, okay, do not prune your branches. From the moment you start pruning branches, you know, farmers have a habit of cutting branches. Yeah, this underneath branch getting yellow, time to cut it. No, from the moment you start pruning branches, you are encouraging the beetles to come. No self, you are attracting the beetles. Why? Because this fresh cut that you make, this is going to attract the beetles faster. That is your rhinoceros beetles, okay? So, no pruning of branches. The other thing is that these beetles transport the red ring nematodes, all right? So, these beetles transport the red ring nematodes and bring them up into the wall or the heart of the coconut tree. That is where the branches meet, okay? And there is where most of the problems happen. So, by preventing the beetles from coming, you will also prevent the nematodes. So it is two issues, the beetles and the nematodes, but they work together to destroy the coconut tree. The mocap, if you can get your hands in on some mocap and treat the coconut trees, then you will be killing two birds with one stone. Mocap is effective against the nematodes since it is a nematicide, and it is effective against the rhinoceros beetles since it is an insecticide. Also, mocap is not systemic, so it does not get into the coconut water. So if it is that is a concern that you have, yes, mocap does not enter into the coconut water. It does not affect the quality of your coconut water. So it is safe to use on the coconut trees. However, when you are handling mocap, as the farmer, we recommend that you, you use your protective wear, you wear your gloves, you wear your respirator, and the mocap must be applied dry as a dry application in the heart or the wall of the coconut tree every three months we recommend it just sprinkle some mocap in the heart you can fill it in a bottle punch a hole in the cover with a nail or something you know and use it as a puffer you know a simple method sprinkling mocap into the heart of the coconut tree every three months this will give you the protection that you need for your coconuts so farmers today i want to remind you all use your mocap and prevent red ring disease because red ring disease is wiping out a lot of our coconut especially the chinese coconut or the dwarf coconut and this is our water lab this is what we depend on for coconut water so farmers look out use your mocap do not prune the branches and also one additional thing if you want to enhance the bearing one time for every mature coconut tree Apply five pounds of speed fertilizer. Yes, that is the speed fertilizer per coconut tree once a year and you will get results that you was not expecting. Coconut responds to the speed. Excellent. If you want bigger fruits, bigger grubs, more flowers, of course, it is going to increase your production on the whole. Apply the speed at five pounds per tree once annually. Okay, now I want to wish you all and your families a pleasant night and continue to keep safe. So, this is Michael Babula, the agronomist, and stay tuned for another update on Agri Nuggets. Thank you.